I've got a lineup of bulbs here for an LED bulb shootout. Not every bulb on the market, just the ones that I think are the most important. And a couple of comparison bulbs. This is the Cree 4 Flow. Uh, there you go, as you see, it's very well vented. According to uh, a, uh, a statistic sheet made by uh, CNET, the Cree 4 Flow is measured at 835 lumens, 11 watts. And that's an efficiency of 76 lumens per watt. And the price is, it says $8 on the sheet, but I've, it's, I've seen it for 5 at the Home Depot in Sacramento, which means it's $15 per lum, 15 lumens per dollar. Okay, and once again, the efficiency, the benefits of the LED are uh, long life, no heat, and um, uh, long life, no heat, and uh, better lumens per watt than an incandescent. An incandescent would be 60 watts for not even a 60 watt bulb would be oh yeah 60 watt bulb may be 800 lumens but 50 of those watts would be the heat going off the bulb off the glass and making the glass uh, 350 degrees F which is just why you burn your hands when you when you touch an incandescent but not um, LED so this is for me this is the bulb this one funny looking bulb is uh, the only one I only bought one and it's the it's called the slim style it's measured at 815 lumens 10.5 watts which is 78 lumens per watt and it's going for about nine dollars according to the according to the um, CNET sheet and it's 2.2 ounces oh the four flow is weighs 1.9 ounces and the reason I bring that up is because if you might have the bulb in a fit in a lamp that's maybe fluted or delicate if the bulb weighs, feels like it weighs uh, ten, a pound or ten pounds, then it could could bend that could bend that lamp out of shape or you know do something odd, especially especially since the older lamps weren't designed for bulbs that weigh that much. Um, so this one turns out to be about the math. Let me see. Um, 78 lumens that's about nine dollars that's about i want to say seven lumens per dollar seven lumens per dollar this is the original this is the original cree bulb that they came out with uh the cree 60 watt it weighs uh, 3.7 ounces 10 years ten dollars and it's actually measured at 746 lumens so that makes this one up uh, seven seven point five lumens per dollar could bulb and it, at the time it was uh, it was you know innovative in a price leader and still looks great it's got a, a shatterproof coat, non nonstick shatterproof coating, and it's rated for ten years. And the first first LED bulb under ten dollars for what it did. This one was a bulb I got at Walgreens, and it was three dollars. They don't make them anymore, 
it was a, a, apparently it's just one off special deal. 3000K. It's not on the CNET sheet. Um, 3000K, 800 lumens. I don't know what it's measure, really measured at. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And it's a good bulb. I, I use it around the house like 3000K color. But it weighs, it feels like it weighs six ounces. Got the venting, huge metal sink. Uh, yeah, so a nice bulb, heavy, good color. And the last one is this one I bought at the, the mall. Got three of these for $10. I bought this one only because it's uh, one to put it, put it in reviews comparison and that two it says it's rated at 90 CRI which is the coloring rendering index which means 90 bits 90% 90 of the color of an incandescent bulb which is 100 which is supposed perfection so that's where they got 90, 90 CRI from 90% this this bulb as you see from the metal, it weighs a ton. Now, and the, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a white piece, white sheet, white panel to deflect the more light sideways. I gave two of them to my friend and I keep one around the house because this is, this is, or for me, this is an outdated design. I'm using an emergency, but I mean, it, it looks, so I guess uh, for me, it looks ugly. So my point is, pre four flow, five dollars, 15 lumens per dollar. It is still the go-to bulb. Signing out.